I've made hundreds of hyper-realistic cakes over the past 12 years. And a lot of those cakes were really hard to make. Do you want to know which of my cakes I found to be the most difficult? My name is Natalie Sidesurf, and I make cakes that don't look like cakes. And today, I'm going to rank my most difficult hyper-realistic cakes. Number five. 2018 is the year that I made my fifth most difficult cake. It's also the year that I discovered wafer paper. Wafer paper is a type of edible paper. And when I got my hands on it for the first time, I did what I always do when I get my hands on a new edible material. I experimented. I folded it, ripped it, crumbled it up, and I got it wet. And I realized that once you get wafer paper wet, it actually hardens back up once it's dry. And I thought this stuff might make the perfect onion skin for a hyper-realistic onion. So I wet some wafer paper and I let it dry on a real onion with hopes that I could peel it away and it would look just like onion skin. I went into this one having no idea if it was gonna work, but I was so excited about the idea of it. <laughs> I had a really hard time trying to peel the wafer paper off the onion. I thought it was gonna be easy. It was not easy. It was sticking. It was driving me crazy, <laughs> but I did not want to give up. I wanted this cake to work. And eventually my onion cake came together and it looked like, well, like an onion. I had a really hard time making that cake, but it was totally worth all the effort. I love my hyper-realistic onion cake. In fact, it is still to this day, one of my favorite cakes that I've ever made. Number four. My number four most difficult cake, well, it's a weird one. <laughs> this cake is my favorite example of trust the process because it went through some stages and I was making it and I'm thinking like, <clears throat> I don't know about this one. <laughs> a hyper-realistic cake of a Barbie means that you've got like Barbie extremities kind of everywhere. I had to make like the torso separate from the legs, separate from the arms and the head. All the parts were separate and then I had to bring it all together to form one whole Barbie. And that was not easy. Not as easy as you might think. You know, if her arms are a little too high, a little too low, for her neck's too short, like there's a lot of things that you can mess up with this one where Barbie will not look like Barbie. And painting Barbie's face, I guess I'm just not used to like painting such a small, tiny scale. Her face is only like this big. Hyper-realistic Barbie cake had me questioning my abilities as an artist. But eventually everything started coming together and I was really proud of the final cake. Oh, and then there's the cake cutting. I didn't know it was gonna go down like that. I did not mean to scare children with this cake cutting, I swear. I have to admit, the cutting was a little funny. <laughs> Number three. If I place a cake of a hyper-realistic apple on a table by itself, or even next to completely different fruits, it can definitely look like the real thing. But if I place that apple cake next to other apples, things get difficult because you all get to compare my cake to the real thing. So you can look at it and see if the colors don't match or the texture is off or the sheen. If I can't find a way to capture the same shininess or dullness, it gives it away every time. So when I decided to make this apple cake, I decided to challenge myself to see if I could make it so hyper-realistic that even with the real apples next to it, the cake could still trick people. Now, I don't have an exact number, but this cake has been seen by tens of millions of people. And the majority of the comments say that they couldn't tell which one was the cake. So I'd say that this cake has probably tricked hundreds of thousands of people. Dare I say a million? I don't know. <laughs> number two. About a year and a half ago, Kit Boga, who is one of my favorite Twitch streamers, asked me to join him on a live stream. And of course I was down. On his live streams, he calls scammers and pretends to be these different characters in order to waste their time. That way they're not out there scamming real people out of money. And Google Play cards are one of the ways that these scammers take money from people. So Kit had this idea that I make a hyper-realistic cake of a Google Play card, and then we use that cake to prank the scammers. So we called a scammer live on Twitch Twitch, and I pretended to be Kit's granddaughter, and he was my grandma. And it was so fun. <laughs> After a few hours, the scammer asked us to send him a picture of the Google Play card that we had just purchased from the store. And that is when we showed him a hyper-realistic cake of an old woman's hand holding a Google Play card. This cake was so difficult for me because I had to make it realistic enough that it could prank a scammer live. And it did! <laughs> that scammer was not happy with us. Number one. 
Some of you know me pretty well and may have guessed that this cake was gonna be number one. By far the most difficult cake that I have ever made is a cake I made of myself. <laughs> That's right, I made a self-portrait cake. You know how I said placing a hyper-realistic cake of an apple next to a real apple is really difficult? Well, placing a cake of a human bust next to the real human, that's next level. It is insanely difficult to try to make a human cake look realistic enough that it looks decent next to a real human. Sculpting a realistic human is incredibly hard, especially when it's cake. And I've sculpted humans in the past, it's just that I never actually held the cake up next to the real person. Usually because they were like celebrities or something. <laughs> I literally like looked in a mirror while I was sculpting my face and tried my best to like replicate every feature. And then when I went to paint it, that's another thing. Gotta get the color of my eyes right and my lips, like everything. It was so, so difficult. I don't think there will ever be a cake that is as hard to make as this one. I don't know. That sounds like a challenge. I might take that on. <laughs> and as difficult as this cake is, it was so much fun to make. I had a hard time the entire time I made it, but I found that really fun. It made it so rewarding once I finished it. I love this cake. It's so weird. That's what I like about it. I like how weird it is. The idea that I can hold up a cake next to myself and everybody can look at the two of us in our eyes and everything. It's just so fun. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like this cake or is it a little too weird for you? I don't know. This list of cakes today, they were all extremely difficult, but I do plan on challenging myself even more to make even more difficult cakes I can't talk. If you liked this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new cake every week. And I'll see you next week for another cake.